Imagine you're watching a movie, but with no sound and no subtitles either. Would you still enjoy the film? I mean, you would sort of understand what's going on in the movie. You might even like what you're watching, but your experience will not be complete. Now, what if I tell you that's exactly how we've been doing astronomy for a really, really long time? Because until recently, all we have used to study how the universe works is light and different forms or wavelengths of light. But that is not the complete picture. The story of our universe is not a silent movie. It is full of characters that chirp. And no, I'm not talking about cosmic birds, but rather black holes. I'm sure you've all heard about black holes, those mysterious objects which are as heavy as stars, as small as cities, and from which even light cannot escape. Now imagine two black holes spiraling towards each other at incredible speeds. Einstein predicted that when this happens, it stretches and squeezes the entire fabric of space-time, sending out powerful ripples through space. It's like throwing a stone in a pond, only this time, the pond is the fabric of space-time itself, and the ripples in the pond are called gravitational waves. Now, gravitational waves are not like normal light waves. They cannot be detected by ordinary telescopes. But like sound waves, they vibrate the medium through which they travel. In my research, I am going to try and find out the direction in the sky these gravitational waves are coming from, using the power of artificial intelligence. But in order to do that, we first need to detect the gravitational waves on Earth. And like I've mentioned, normal telescopes cannot detect gravitational waves. What we basically need is an instrument that can measure an extremely tiny distortion in space, which is created when a gravitational wave signal sweeps past the Earth. And this signal, by the way, is also called a chirp. So to do this, scientists used lasers to build the world's most sensitive ruler. And here is the picture of that instrument. It consists of two arms, which are basically four kilometer long laser tunnels that wobble in response to a gravitational wave event. Now, my job is to use these LIGO detectors like a GPS device. I'm going to use the data from these detectors and apply machine learning models, which can teach computers to predict the sky directions of gravitational waves from this data. We believe that using my method, we can localize gravitational waves orders of magnitude faster than current methods. The universe is talking to us, as it has been for a really long time. And finally, we have the technology to listen to its story. Thank you.